<laughs> Kim Jong Kook can't hide his hard eyes for Song Ji Ho after watching her adorable dance moves. It's back and even better than before. Our favorite running man love line. Song Ji Ho demonstrated her charming dance moves to the hit song Rollin by the Brave Girls on one of the episode of the SBS variety show, drawing a warm reception from her fellow cast members. One running man member in particular couldn't help but beam in adulation while the rest of the group swayed to Song Ji Ho's dance. The stunning member of Running Man got ready to start her choreography to Rollin, but it took her a little longer than she had anticipated. So do not worry, because Song Ji Ho finally understood and used 120% of her effort to ensure that her movements were precise. There was one person who couldn't help but smile after watching Song Ji Ho's cuteness as the other Running Man members joined in on her lovely dance moves, and it was none other than her very own Running Man on-screen boyfriend, Kim Jong Kook. Yoo Jae Suk was forced to speak out in response to Kim Jong Kook's admiration for Song Ji Ho by saying, Kim Jong Kook thinks it's so cute, so cute. Song Ji Ho seized the opportunity to play up her ego, cuteness, and danced specifically just for Kim Jong Kook who couldn't hide his joy. Song Ji Ho said, Is that why you made me dance, so you can watch me? <laughs> Song Ji Hyo had a funny action when running man members visited Kim Jong Kook's house for the first time. Misunderstandings may result from Song Ji Hyo's actions during the group's visit to Kim Jong Kook's home. The cast of the SBS variety show Running Man visited Kim Jong Kook's home in the trailer for the episode that airs the next week, which was released on June 26. As they visited Kim Jong Kook's home for the first time in Running Man broadcast history, the members displayed immense eagerness for it. Song Ji Hyo, in particular, who has official love line with Kim Jong Kook, joked before entering, "This is our wedding house." <laughs> Even the door lock's password was quickly pressed by her. Misunderstandings may result from this activity. Song Ji Hyo embarrassed Kim Jong Kook by remarking, "This reminds me of the old days." After entering the residence. <laughs> Here's the unlikely story of how Song Ji Ho became a cast member of Running Man. It was because of a hilarious moment from the past. Song Ji Ho has been a cast member of SBS's Running Man for over a decade, and it would be hard for fans to imagine the show without her. However, Song Ji Ho wasn't an original cast member of the show. She made her first appearance as a guest in the second episode and became an official member in the seventh episode. In one of Running Man episode, Yoo Jae Suk spoke about how Song Ji Ho became a cast member of the show. Before Running Man was a show, Song Ji Ho guested on Family Outing. Current Running Man cast members Yoo Jae Suk and Kim Jong Kook were cast members of Family Outing. The day that Song Ji Ho guested on Family Outing, everyone was quite tired, and Yoo Jae Suk told Song Ji Ho to get some rest. When it was time to start shooting again, nobody could find Song Ji Ho. After looking around, Yoo Jae Suk found Song Ji Ho sleeping heavily and snoring in a room. Family outing later ended, and one of the producers from the show became a producer for Running Man. This producer and other crew members remembered Song Ji Ho and thought she would be a great addition to the show. Song Ji Ho eventually became a cast member of Running Man, and the rest is history. <laughs> Lay down like it's my bed. Kim Jong Kook causes chaos with his comment directed at Song Ji Hyo. On the most recent episode, Running Man's favorite on-screen couple steps things up a level. As the cast members compete to uncover the mafias of the game, who were given various assignments to perform, the most recent edition of the SBS variety program was full with headline-worthy moments. The Running Man cast members had to compete in a high jump game during one of the episode's segments. Kim Jong Kook's anxiety for his love line partner Song Ji Hyo took center stage as each member participated in this phase of the event. Due to her prior failure, Song Ji Hyo revved up her engines and practiced a few times before it was her chance to successfully complete her high jump attempt. Kim Jong Kook intervened to help her as she practiced her jump posture at that point. The singer, who had been effortlessly clearing each high jump attempt, 
walked to the actress's side and instantly offered to assist her through her jump. This is all you need to do. Kim Jong-kook. But it was his next remark that quickly caught the interest of the other running man members. Kim Jong-kook made this remark as he guided Song Ji-hyo through his private coaching session. All you need to do is fall back and lay down like it's my bed. That's it, Kim Jong-kook. And while he may have said it in passing, Yu Jae-soo picked up on it immediately and questioned Kim Jong-kook's motive. <laughs> Naturally, the response to the comment ensued mass chaos on the show, as Haha and Yang Se-chan immediately banded together to sing a famous line from TVXQ's Hug. Just for one day I would like to be the bed in your room. Haha and Yang Se-chan singing TVXQ's Hug. <laughs> He sought to clarify his remark by saying he meant your own personal bed, as the entire Running Man cast started to make fun of Kim Jong-kook. As if you were about to collapse into your own bed, run and jump. However, no one paid attention to his justification. So our favorite Spartan naturally picked Yu Jae-suk as his victim to vent his rage on. I meant her own personal bed, Kim Jong-kook. As Song Ji Hyo geared up to complete her turn, Haha ha couldn't help himself, as he continued to make fun of the situation by sharing another bed related comment. To make Ji Hyo feel more at ease, can you do what you normally do for her and offer your arm as a pillow? Kyung Taha. <laughs> After this laughter, Song Ji Hyo finally gave it her all and tried to make the high leap, but she didn't succeed. <laughs> Yu Jae Suk and Kim Jong Kook hastily rushed to her side to help her back up as she made her running man colleagues giggle with her comedic fall. <laughs> running man Song Ji Ho scolded Yang S. E. Chan on the set as he accidentally hit the vital point on her thigh. The participants may be seen congregating at Kim Jong Kook's home to complete assignments in SBS's entertainment program Running Man, which aired on July 3rd. On that day's second assignment, Kim Jong-kook started demonstrating proper squatting technique to the team members. Isn't this stressful for us all? Yang Se Chen worriedly asked throughout the mission. After Yu Jae-sook had declared the mission to have begun, a loud noise then attracted everyone's attention. This is due to Yang Se Chen striking Song Ji-ho, at a crucial location on her thigh, after mistaking her for Haha. -ha. Se Chen mistakenly believed Ji Ho to be me, and struck her vital spot with his fist, Haha -ha stated when the other members became perplexed. It was shown the moment Yang Se Chen carelessly punched Song Ji Ho in the leg. Hurt by the hit, Song Ji Ho shouted, This XX hit my vital point. Startled by the accident, Yang Se Chen immediately apologized, I'm sorry Nuna. The participants may be seen congregating at Kim Jong-kook home, to complete assignments in SBS's entertainment program Running Man, which aired on July 3rd. Song Ji Hyo once thought that Lee Kwang Su was hitting on her, here's why. Lee Kwang Su and Song Ji Hyo have been castmates on SBS's Running Man for almost a decade and are like family. Song Ji Hyo confessed in a recent Running Man episode that she previously felt Lee Kwang Su was hitting on her. Song Ji Hyo related her experience after Ji Suk Jin mentioned how he had some misunderstandings with Haha. -ha. During the early years of Running Man, the cast members would frequently go out together, however Song Ji Hyo would not attend these gatherings. Lee Kwang Su contacted Song Ji Hyo several times and begged her to come out with them because she wasn't coming to these meetings. Song Ji Hyo, on the other hand, got the incorrect notion and assumed Lee Kwang Su was hitting on her. The cast members burst into laughter and said that it was understandable to think this way. Song Ji Hyo became irritated and told Lee Kwang Su to stop phoning her. Lee Kwang Su instantly ceased approaching Song Ji Hyo after this, she laughed. 